Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, I'm going to go through my initial impressions of the Creality CR10 budget 3D printer. So Gearbest were nice enough to send over one of these printers for evaluation and I have it now printing in the background which you may or may not be able to hear. Um, I'll just go through some of the quick features of the printer itself. The printer itself does 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter size. So that's 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter print area. It is of the RepRap slash Prusa design. The build quality is exceptional. The time it took to build was approximately 10 minutes as most of the kit came pre-assembled. I was a bit um, skeptical at first as to how, how difficult this was going to be to build and how long it was going to take to build but once I opened the box it was clear that a good 90% of the printer was already pre-assembled. So all you needed to do was to plug in your stepper motors which is all done by a pre-wired pre loom which is simple, you, they're all labelled XYZ. You just plug in your stepper motors and then bolt on the Z gantry which is a simple three nuts, uh, T nuts on either side. So I was up and printing in 10 minutes. Simplify 3D has a Creality CR10 profile built in. So if you want to find that, just go through your configuration assistant and choose the correct printer. The very first print I did was in a live stream, which was the uh, Prusa Vars, which I have here. Now in this print, uh, I was dared to crank it up to 300% speed, which I by default I had it running at 80mm, which is pretty fast. But um, during the stream, I had it cranked up to 300% and you can only barely just see some line differences here layer separate or not layer separation but you can see some layer differentiation where I cranked it up to 300 and then the rest of the print is near perfect the layers are all perfectly flat and it's up there and can compete with any any printer up to at least fifteen hundred dollars or more um, the printer doesn't have auto bed leveling but there are four large thumb screws underneath the printer which make it a breeze to to calibrate and to level. Um, I've got some previous videos on how to level your bed. These will apply to this video. So you can see next to me I'm printing my logo currently in PET G and I'm also just printing on a piece of Kapton tape. I originally tried to use this pro, uh, product called Magigoo and I found it that it was a bit of a um, gimmick basically it seems like a watered down glue stick so I, di I didn't see any benefit over using a glue stick or using that stuff but your results may vary um, I didn't have any luck with it and in the end of the live stream that I did you'll actually see the second print I started was lifting off the bed now I put this down to adhesion which was semi true um, but the actual label was misrolled as a uh, was mis mislabeled it was what I thought was PLA was actually ABS, so I was printing it uh, too cool and this stuff didn't let it stick anyway. Initial impressions. The build was flawless and simple. It went together like a dream. 10 minutes, like I said, from out of the box to printing. The packaging was exceptional. Foam everywhere. There's no way that this thing could really get damaged in transit unless your courier or uh, postal company played football with the box. I can't recommend this printer enough. So if you want to be able to print big things, big large items like full-size helmets and things, this is going to be your best bet this side of $1,000. 474 US. However, that said, they have given me a coupon so I can get this to you for $369. If you check out the description, there is a coupon code and an affiliate link. The affiliate link helps the channel a bunch and helps me get more codes in for you guys to get stuff cheaper and also gets me more printers for you to review. Now, so again, that coupon code is... 3DCR1 
It's the coupon code for GearBest with my affiliate link. That'll get it to you for $369.99 US. Postage is exceptionally cheap. I think you are going to love this printer. I'm not sure if I've said this before. However, if I was to buy a printer with my own money, as you know, most of the printers, if not all of the printers that we get on the channel are donated uh, generously by companies for our evaluation and review and feedback. If I was to buy a printer with my own money, the CR10 would honestly be at the top of my list along with the TiVo Little Monster. It's currently printing now in PET G at around 50 60 micron and it is going down flawlessly. The layers are perfect. I'll try and get in some zooms of uh, that and I'll overlay them on the video. If you want to print big or if you want a really good printer for next to no money in relative terms, you can't really beat this printer at all. The CR10 has blown me away. Out of the box, it came with the glass, so you don't need to go buy anything. It came with the binder clips, so you don't need to buy anything. It came with a paint scraper, so you can get your prints off. The bed also came pre-lined pre with uh, painter's tape, so you didn't even need to do that. It was literally just ready to go out of the box. You just put on the gantry, plug in your cables, and bang, you're printing. The CR10 uses like a hybrid direct slash Bowden style system, which I actually have come to like after using the little monster. The extruder is mounted on the side of the frame, and then there is a slight Bowden tube off to the hot end. Now the, the benefits of this are you can get faster printing speed and there's less weight on the gantry. Less weight means less wobble, which will mean more precision. I've tested this up to 100 milliseconds so far and there was no signs of any print degradation and print quality change. But this is only my initial impressions. I have only had the printer for now one day. I will be doing follow-up videos to this just to show you my impressions after a week and a month. But so far, it, is, it has exceeded all of my expectations. I highly urge you to please check out the description. In there, there's the affiliate link and the coupon code. Grab yourself one of these while the sale is still active. I am told that that coupon code and that link is only uh, valid for a short time, a couple of weeks. So if you're ready to pull the trigger on a printer, go for the CR10. Anyway guys, I would also love to thank my patrons for bringing this video to us. Without their support, we cannot afford the cameras, lighting, microphones, software that it requires to produce the videos. If you wish to support the channel, a simple thumbs up, comments, or if you're financially able, Patreon helps us a bunch as YouTube revenue has gone down the toilet. So thanks again guys, initial impressions only. This gets my thumbs up and I'll do a follow up very soon. Alright guys, thanks, I'll see you on the next video.